workers at the country's largest container shipping port, Felixstowe, have joined the list of those on strike. For more, we're joined by Lizzie Burden. She's in Felixstowe. She's at the docks. So what's the latest that you can tell us in terms of the scale of this strike? Lizzie. Well, Manus, about 2,000 workers, as you can see behind me, some of them are striking. It's the second day of an eight-day strike so far, overpay because of this double-digit inflation that you've got in the UK. Maersk has already had to divert three vessels, and it's monitoring 11 more. Uh, Flexport says that it's going to take 24 days to clear the backlog of cargo. And, of course, that will have a knock-on effect on other ports around Europe. And so the Russell Group is expecting that this will impact about $800 million worth of trade. So it's a significant hit to imports and exports. The port's trying to play down the impact uh, because they say they've already been through COVID and Brexit, so they're going to be able to weather the storm. But really, the impact's going to depend on how many workers cross the picket line. And Manus, I hate to mention the C word in August, uh, but we are retailers are looking forward to Christmas at this point of the year, so it will be a disruptive time. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Christmas. We are not ready for that, Lizzie. And Lizzie, also good work there. I, I'm always I know ready for a bit of Christmas. Of... <laughs> of course, of course. I mean, uh, okay, who isn't? Christmas come early, but maybe not great. So you laid out what some of the arguments are about what the disruption will be, Lizzie, but, but do we have any numbers in, in terms of, of trade specifically what the impact will be? Uh, well, you've got about $800 million worth of trade set to be affected. This container port handles about a third of the UK's uh, container trade. It's more Asia-facing, whereas uh, Liverpool, where dockers are also expected to strike, is more uh, Atlantic-facing. But remember, it's not just the disruption to trade that will be the economic cost. There's also the risk of a wage price spiral, as the Bank of England has warned about, uh, because the workers have already turned down an 8 percent pay rise uh, but the, you can understand that when you've got double digit inflation in the UK perhaps but the, the risk is that this spreads to other sectors you've already got the transport workers striking the barristers the nurses the postal workers and so the risk is that you have a wage price spiral adding to the inflation surge in the UK it's become a hot topic in the conservative leadership race Liz Truss of course is saying that she'll clamp down on industrial action and the disruption that it causes as well.